just how proud are you of your team right now? Oh, you can see by just obviously you know, how we're sitting here. It's, a, it's one hell of a special moment in time that um, as a team uh, we've just experienced. The boys have gone uh, down in history now. Uh, for a long, long time this club's been spoken about. You know, obviously this year has been the 43 number. And uh, our boys, they did it. They did it. Were you nervous when it got to six on? Uh, no, not really. Uh, the belief that I have on the players, and especially over the last couple of months, uh, I'd uh, probably a bold statement, but I really believe in this team we're going to do it. Uh, just how they, they were gelling together and uh, the camaraderie that they showed, the sacrifices that they wanted to do for each other, uh, and just how close they are. Um, I could really see something bubbling, and it was great to see that. Uh, they got what they deserved tonight. There's um, a lot of work put into this uh, campaign. John, does this make up for all the years you've got plenty of hiding? 100%. It's been the, one of the best nights of my life. Uh, I'm so proud of everyone. I want to thank Madge for everything you've done for me. I want to thank all the boys. Um, it's a tremendous effort tonight. You know, this bloke over here, playing with a broken face, inspirational. First tackle of the game, played the whole ladies. Half big hole enough for this back over here. It's just a tremendous effort. John, I think there was a shot of you earlier. I think that you kind of saw Sam and spoke to him. Can you tell us what, you, what that conversation was? What, what was that? I think pretty early on when you came and you a couple of you checked out his face. And you oh, I, I just, I think they were trying to get him in the scrum and he was telling the red saw. Uh, the face to face, and I didn't notice that. Then I looked at him and I went, whoa. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. And then, but, um, no, he just, done what he does every week, every week, you know, just unbelievable effort, unbelievable. Sam, can you describe the pain that you were putting up with throughout the game? Um, to be honest, uh, I couldn't feel the pain, <laughs> you know, I, my head would be a little bit dizzy and um, a bit of blood vision in his right eye, but, uh, you know, a few of the boys recognised early that I damaged my face and, um, you know, we just covered for each other. And, you know, there are a lot of guys out there helping me through it. Um, but, you know, we work we work for this day from from first of November, um, so there's no chance I'll miss now. <laughs> you know, like I said, I, I just really I'm, I'm so happy for Madge. I know how he works. Um, I'm so happy for the team. I know how they work. And uh, you know, it's not just the 17 boys tonight. It's, we've got 32 boys that have worked out from day one. Uh, you know, there's so many people I could thank, but um, for now I'm just, I'm just thankful that we've got the winner. You know, I truly believe we deserved it. Uh, you know, it's not taking anything away from the Bulldogs, but you know, I just felt it was our time. And I'm just going to enjoy it over the next couple of days. Uh, I'm going to have to sort his face out first. <laughs> <laughs> but then after that, uh, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy some time with my family and my teammates. Uh, just reflect on what's been a great 12 months. Sam, you going to hospital after this? Um, yeah, I'm sure. I'd imagine so, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think it's very hard. The doc seems to be coming in surgery. I'm afraid it's tomorrow. Surgery? Uh, yeah, this cheek has gone, it's gone in which side. So it's not, it's not, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'd, I'd imagine so. I'd probably get it fixed over the next 24 hours. Has it been just in yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's, it's all right. Uh, it's, it's, it's all right. It's, yeah, but, uh, I guess the, the joy is overriding the pain at the moment. Sam, were there any risks in playing on? Did the doctor say anything to you about any risks in <coughs> playing on? Um, well, I, I wasn't really listening to what you're saying. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, my, my teammates uh, really helped me through the process, and you know, the staff that were coming out and talking to me really helped me through. But um, I liked it. Like uh, I'm, I'm just really happy, you know, for the team. It's, uh, it's been a great effort all year. We faced a lot of adversity. You know, tonight we faced some as well, but uh, you know, we stuck together as a team and, and we came through winners in the end. Did you ever think of going off there? Did you ever think of at least having looked at going off the field? Um, no, I mean, no, I just, just get on with it, I guess. Uh, fix it over the next few days. And, like I said, uh, nothing going to stop uh, enjoying that, that ride and that moment with the team tonight. Well, well, there was a lot of adversity. There was not only Sam, George got concussed, um, who had to come off uh, for a test. Uh, Dave Terrell got knocked out. I mean, 
what are your thoughts on, on that? That's what this team built themselves into. Where they looked after each other. And like what Sam just spoke about, you know, right from tackle one. The, you can see the boys rallying around Sam, and even at half time, you can see them getting together and just saying, let's just get him through this. And that was the, the chatter at half time. And that inspired every single one of us, myself, you know, everyone in the, in the stand, I think every fan, uh, for, for all of us to lift uh, to what we achieved today. Sam, you've gone through so much tonight to get to this point, and it's, it's been a long journey. You've wanted it so badly. Can you describe the emotions that you're feeling right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've calmed down now. Uh, I lost a couple of minutes on the field, I'm pretty emotional. Uh, you know, uh, you know, the pain, I had a bit of a, uh, a knock to my head, and uh, obviously the feeling of being victorious, um, and overcame it at times, I guess. And just to, just to share the moment with the guys on the field at times, you know, it's quite emotional. I mean, it's really hard to explain the feeling that's, that runs through your body at, at that moment in time. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it's tears of joy, certainly. Um, what feeling, I don't know, man. <laughs> I guess uh, I'm, I'm just really happy and I've joined it. Uh, I guess for the supporters that have been waiting for a long time, you know, the board members that have been through the second thing, uh, you know, those all sticking with the club, everyone that's been involved in turning the club around, you know, um, I'm just really happy for them. I guess that's where a lot of emotion came. I guess I think John and Ben are, you know, backing me up. It's uh, playing for this club is pretty special. Uh, to win a premiership for them is probably um, the ultimate. So, you know, I'm just really happy to be part of it and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Ben, how do you feel going up with a win like that? <coughs> um, yeah, I was pretty emotional in the last few minutes as well, just, um, just knowing it's all come to an end and all the hard work's paid off. And, you know, I've been playing for, you know, eight or so years now and, you know, I've come up short plenty of times and, you know, sometimes wondered, you know, maybe it's not for me, you know, maybe I'm never going to get it. but. Uh, to share it with these guys, and you know, I remember sitting down with Madge at his house when he was going to wanted to sign me, and um, you know, it was a pivotal part in my career. I'm just happy to be here. A million dollar mansion as well. It will be next year. Sammy, how hard is it going to be to now go to Lloyd? No, oh, it's going to be tough. I always knew it would be tough. Um, you know, uh, to obviously just deal with the emotion through the year, uh, that, and, and, and just sort of take it out of the equation. Um, like I said, it's uh, I'll face that when I get to it now, but um, probably the next week or whatever. Uh, I'm just going to enjoy the time with the guys that uh, we've worked so hard on. So, you know, I'll, 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 I'll attack that when I get to it. Sam, what's going through your head then? Yeah, I don't know. I knew I broke it straight away. Um, I didn't think anything really. I just wanted to. Um, the, the pain did kick in. Or the adrenaline was running through my body, so uh, it just felt numb. The side of my face just felt numb, so I just, um, yeah, just carried on again. What did James Graham say to you full time there, No, um, James is a great competitor. You know, I've got a lot of respect for him as a guy and as a player. I just told him I'm going to miss him. Um, I'm really proud of what I've done this year, so I just said that, mate, and uh, I guess this game gives you a lot uh, in terms of feelings and friendships. So, you know, he's, he's a friend that I love forever, but uh, uh, yeah, that, that's all I've said, I guess, just mutual respect, and um, you know, I really appreciate his friendship. Mate, just you think the fact that when George broke the deadlock, scored that individual try to get you guys ahead late in the second half? Yeah, it was really impressive. Really proud of him as his older brother. Um, you know, he's done it a few times before, so you know I knew he had it in him. But um, like I said, it was a crucial part of the game. Um, yeah, I'm just really proud of him. Um, really proud of it. You know, it's just everyone I guess the whole squad, of 30 guys. Um, I'm sure George will remember that forever. I'm sure I'll tell a story over the next week or so. The trial start from 20 metres out and get <laughs> 45 metres out by the end of the week. <laughs> uh, yeah, mate, I'm sure I'll cherish that moment forever as, as the whole squad will. Badge, has Russell spoken to the players yet? Uh, no, yeah, he's, I've got to read all the players as he saw. Yeah. Uh, he's been in the change room. Um, you know, 
know, he, he gets around a lot of one-on-ones. Yeah. And I'm sure he's spoke to every single player, probably every staff member. What's um, he said to you? Uh, uh, we put ourselves in history, basically, for the, from everyone involved. Uh, from our board, to the players, uh, to the administration. <coughs> fantastic support, our supporters. I guess I'm probably in a little bit of what Russell said here, but it's just my opportunity to be able to sort of say thanks to everyone that's been involved uh, you know, for, for Ben and Sam to be leaving us and I'm not sure what lot he's going to be doing with his, with his uh, career. Uh, I reckon he's probably got another couple of years in the way he's going, who knows. Uh, it's, it's just a real, it's been a real honour to actually coach him. Uh, you know, to see what Sam did, you know, he's put uh, a new life into this team moving forward. You know, with the uh, our young players to be able to see a player of Sam's calibre doing the things he's doing and Benny in the last sort of two weeks he you know he unfortunately had a, a bit of a sit out there and he in the background had to go away and do a lot of hard work on his own to, to be able to do what he's doing and you know, John that sits next to me as a captain um, what uh, John's done this year to develop himself as a person off the field let alone on the field uh, along with all our players has been a, it's a real credit to all of them and we just got to keep using that as we move forward. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last game for the club as well. Sorry. Yeah, young happy, yeah. What an inspiration to leave down replay. Mm -hmm. uh, from two months out, I, I, I did chat to him and I said, you just never know. You never know what could happen in sport. And I had a few stories from uh, the past where uh, individuals come into games and had their opportunity and all of a sudden to see Isaac bow out the way he did, which was um, tough to take, I've got to say, uh, for all of us as players. Uh, he handled himself extremely well. Uh, the way he he walked out of that press conference, I'm oh, sorry, out of the uh, judiciary, shook their hand, um, faced up and said, this is all about the team. That's, uh, that says a lot about uh, everyone in this group. When you first took over the club, the hard work that was ahead of you, did, did it surprise you what was needed to turn the club around from where they were? Oh, no, not really. I, I never really looked at it like that. I just put my head down the way we went. Um, I remember sitting outside at the Redford ground there and, with John and you know everything was sort of said about where John was going with his career and I just said you know what we've got John we've got a clean bit of paper let's see where it takes us and uh, we're here now three years later 43 years of uh, history in the, in the, in the organisation the boys have uh, won a premiership. What does that mean to you John when you look at the names that have done it before you and to be the captain of the side that has broken that 43 year drought at a foundation club like South City with all the history? It means everything to me. Everything. And I've been in this club for 10 years now. I'm just that proud of everyone that's got me here, and um, you know, especially Madge and these boys. Uh, just so proud of them. I can't even describe how happy I am right now. It's been a long journey, but just to get here, to lead them out, thank Madge for that. You know, he really pushed me to. He probably like when he the first told me to be captain, want to be one of the captains. I probably wasn't too keen on it, <clears throat> but um, he really drove me to you know, lead the boys, and you know, thank you for that. And I've been cherishing every moment I run the boys out. It's, it's unbelievable tonight, and you know, I can't can't thank him enough. I suppose it hasn't sunk in that your name is going to be next to Churchills and Sattlers and McCarthy's, and you know. Uh, yeah, I haven't even thought about that stuff. <laughs> just soaking up. It's at the moment, it's unbelievable. Madge, can you explain now uh, why you chose John? What was it you saw in him? Because at that stage of his career, when you nominated him as one of your senior leaders and then taking him as captain, that probably unexpected for a lot of people to think of now, John. His presence in the team. Presence in the team. He, John's a very, very smart player, smart footballer. And I knew um, he had the ability to, to shape himself into the person he's he is right now. Uh, just the way I, I watched him talk to the players and push the players around on the park, I just knew that he had something. He had a lot more in him. And obviously, from that time when we sat down together um, each week and each day, we had a few challenges that along the way to, you know, to continue to grow as a group. But that um, you know, was a credit to John. He, you know, he had a lot of uh, knockers, I guess, prior in my time, and to you know, go through that period and, and do what he's achieved tonight. Along with all his teammates, it's uh, it's one hell of a achievement what John's done. You talk about standing among his peers. Can you expand on that a little bit more? 
Oh, it's something that John just took on board. Uh, uh, John just admitted there he probably wasn't as keen to, to take on the role as a captain, but I, I could just see how he, he had um, that presence when I talk. He had the, the ability to, to push players to new levels. Uh, and the way he spoke to them, and he's hard on them, but fair. Uh, and in the things that we do at training, and uh, the start of this year, we sat down together and I said, you know, John, we've got a lot of young kids coming through, and along with Sam, Benny, and a number of our other older guys, we need to grow these kids. And he's been a big instigator in doing that, along with Greg Inglis. You know, Greg himself has, you know, he's probably been uh, spoken about a lot this year on how he's become a, a real strong leader. You know, there's more in Greg, you know, and there's more in obviously John too. So, you know, we're looking forward to obviously moving forward, but we'll definitely cherish everything that we've got at the moment. Mate, was there a part of the season where you thought? Yeah, I, I actually thought when uh, we lost last year against Manly, I actually believe that we had the ability to do, do something very, very special. I wasn't sure whether or not we were going to win uh, the comp from that point, but as I kept talking with these senior guys that sit beside me, uh, and the way they came together, especially in the last two months, and you know, sometimes it takes you know, decisions of uh, you know, Sam leaving and Van leaving, and uh, it's, it's tough to take when you first get that, but we want to do it for each other, and I think that's probably been a big driving force. That, we have as a team at the moment, we just wanted to do it for each other. John, was it nice to split the celebration half on the stage, half off, so you could get Isaac working there with the trophy and so he could be involved in all the celebrations? Yeah, 100%. I was actually a major part of his team. You know. Um, you know, it's just very disappointing you didn't get to play them up, but a um, massive part of his squad. Um, been great for us since the all year. You know, he came back from a tough in injury and he played well. It was great to get all the squad, the whole squad in there at the end, you know, and, the, and the kids and the, and the families. It was great to have that moment. Michael, what did you make of the curious performance tonight? It's been exceptional the way you've gone along. Uh, Adam and uh, Kiri were both great tonight. Uh, I think Adam's kicking game. Uh, I think they had a couple there that probably got charged down a few times, but he just stuck at it. And I think both those two together have uh, really stepped up in this last couple of months. Uh, both fantastic players. Had a great night. Can't be happy for them. Did you really feel you set up the game in the first half? I think you completed 21 to 22 sets, almost for the 52. Yeah. George dropped the ball there right there. Was that sort of where the game was set up? Yeah, well, that's what that's what the game is at the moment. Yeah, you've got to make sure you apply pressure. And uh, through our defence, we definitely did that. And obviously, off the back of completions too, that helps. But just the way that the hunger of the boys, you can see that in the way they kept getting up off the ground and trying to get in the next tackle. It just allowed us to lay a good platform. And there's probably a period in that second half where the momentum did shift for a little bit. You know, we got like, young Appy back out there, and we, we got the momentum back. So, but uh, that's instilled in the players. Sam, what's it like winning the medal? Um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, like I said, out there, I guess um, I don't think one player deserves it. Uh, you know, so I accept on behalf of the squad. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, but it's, it's more of a team effort tonight. Everyone held it through, so. More impressed with the ring. Uh, that said, it must be really impressive to be the first ever South Sydney player to win a medal named after potentially your greatest player ever. Yeah, like I said, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I guess I reflect on it in, uh, as time goes on. But uh, you know, the main goal tonight was to get the trophy and to get the ring. Um, so I guess it's just a little bonus. But um, truly, it's, I mean it. You know, I say I accept on behalf of the squad. Uh, you know, it's a team effort. Michael, publicly you didn't seem to want to integrate or you didn't make out that the team was burdened by the weight of history, but internally was that a big part of tonight and build up? Uh, ever since I've been here we've uh, spoken about the history of the club, so it's part of what comes with South. Um, you know, the greats of Sats and Ronnie Coote, Robin McCarthy, I could go on and on with all those players. They've been around us, so it's been a, it's been in turn, in, inside us uh, since we've been here and I think that's a big part of the club to, to recognise that the past is a big part of what builds a club and they're as much a part of this along with every player that's played for South. You know, the, the community, uh, yeah, it's, it's just been a ride. And now they've written their own page in their history book. No, the players definitely have done that, yes. Imagine, you mentioned that loss to Manly last year. It must have been such a crushing loss, though. You were determined to learn from that. Straight away, there were lessons that you could see that 
where he is today. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's all. That's all the experience you, you go through. Um, through the hurt at that time, and you, you know, internally you take things out of that, and we, we grew from that, and the boys definitely show that tonight. Thank you.